from Omaha's weather leader, meteorologist Caitlin Harvey with your accurate weather now forecast. As you wake up this morning, start with a live look out from Cobalt Credit Union Papillion at 72nd Highway 370 this morning. Looking pretty quiet. It is gusty out there if you're waking up early for those Sunday plans. Temperatures nice though, nearly 50 degrees throughout parts of the metro. Tacoma 50 right now, Maryville 47. But these sustained winds still strong. It's not just the gusts you have to worry about today. This is going to lead to some increased fire danger. Very high fire danger today. Uh, could see any fires that start act erratically spread very quickly. But we are just shy of reaching that threshold for red flag warning. Gusts today up to about 35 miles an hour. Could see even stronger gusts as we work our way into some of the Iowa side. Uh, Monona, Crawford, Carroll, Harrison, Shelby, and Audubon counties all under a wind advisory. 10 o'clock this morning to 3 o'clock this afternoon. Gusts up to 45 miles an hour. Again, you could see down tree limbs, even isolated power outages. But I don't think that's necessarily just going to stay in that corner of Iowa. Still seeing gusty winds across the entire region as we head into your afternoon, but that could work to our advantage as far as warm temperatures are concerned. 55 degrees by 11 o'clock this morning. We're up into the 60s early, early this afternoon. 65 that high today, and then we're going to start to see chances for rain increase overnight tonight, and especially by tomorrow morning. Those showers become more widespread. Dry today, Windy and warm. That's your big story for your Sunday. 65 Omaha, 60 degrees Norfolk, Columbus, and 65 for Shenandoah and Falls City. Storm predictor as we march across the region on your Sunday. Showing these clouds this morning, dissipating a little bit by lunchtime. Could get some peaks of sunshine. Still great time to head outdoors again. It's just going to be a little bit gusty. Clouds will increase for your afternoon, but most of us will stay dry until after 7 o'clock is what the forecast models are showing me. Showers increase overnight tonight and become more widespread for your commute to work tomorrow morning. They'll continue to stick around, really not letting up throughout the day Monday and even into Tuesday. By Wednesday morning, they'll finally start to wrap up. But here in this lighter blue, this is one to two inches, and I do think we could get isolated three inches, including Omaha, York, Lincoln, Beatrice, Columbus, Shenandoah. So it's going to be a wet next couple of days. Seeing that impact weather Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So far, no flood concerns, but minor flooding could be possible.